the anticipation of that Atlanta match, that when our players came out of the tunnel, it was like this wave of energy just hit you. The attendance really blew our mind. The whole stadium was jumping. For any expansion team, in any sport, their first year is always challenging. To play your opening game and then get closed down a week later, where does that happen? You couldn't have written this up. February 29th, 2020, the first game of a new era in Nashville. After all the bidding and building and backroom bargaining, Major League Soccer was at last staking another claim in the South. The guy who does my job at Atlanta United, Darren Eels, was one of the first people to call me when I got this job. We were former adversaries in the Premier League and he said we cannot wait for Nashville to join because we want to have a real genuine rival in the South. Knowing that they're certainly one of the powerhouse MLS sides at the moment, it was never going to be an easy game to kick off with. The team played well, having never played together before in a competitive game. We did our city proud. The game finished 2-1, we lost. There were plenty of positives to come out of it. Deep down, I realized that there was still some preparation to be had to try and be ready for the Portland game. It's amazing to think of all the momentum that we gained from that first match, and to think only 48 hours later, this tornado would hit our city. On the evening of March 2nd, Middle Tennessee was battered by a devastating, deadly outbreak of tornadoes. 25 people died. The region suffered over $1.5 billion worth of damages players and their families were sifting through the rubble of a city they just met. We saw NSC going from being like this team that fans support to now being like this beacon of hope for our city. Nashville was shaken, but the team was undaunted. The following weekend, in their match against the Portland Timbers, the club rallied to support their new home by organizing a massive fundraiser to benefit the Middle Tennessee Tornado Relief Fund. We did a great kind of initiative there with Portland Timbers who we have a fantastic relationship with and we both wore a patch in memory of those who have been devastated by the tornado and they were hugely supportive and helped us raise some money for the relief effort. The never give up on your patches were a real fitting way of just showing the support for some of the real difficulties that had gone on in that week building up to the Portland game. The opportunity to use that game as a rallying cry making sure our players could understand and comprehend that it wasn't just 11 players in the field, it represented a whole city. It felt like, okay, we've picked ourselves up and then MLS stopped. The wreckage from the storms was soon exacerbated by a crisis that would cripple the entire world. The future of the team was suddenly at the mercy of a pandemic, which in an instant would change the world. On March 12th, MLS suspended match play to allow their medical task force to assess its impact. We went from preparing our team for game three against Toronto FC to now not knowing what happens next. On the next Dream Together, Nashville gets shuffled to the Eastern Conference and a date is set for the MLS is back tournament. Soccer is again ready to take the field, but Nashville's struggles and false starts have just begun.